Welcome grade 12 to paper 2 inverses. Just to remind you of what we learned when we did paper 1 inverses. To cancel out uh, a plus on one side, you apply the inverse of minus on the other side. To cancel out the operation of multiplication, you, up, you divide on the other side. To cancel out a square, the inverse of a square is a square root. So if you want to cancel out a square, you must square root the other side. Those are the three that you need to know for your exam. So let's look at some example uh, of where we apply inverses. Okay, how long will it take to travel 240 kilometers at a speed of 60 kilometers? So if you are asking how long, here we are uh, actually looking for the time. All right, we're looking for the time, but they haven't given us the time formula. They've given us the distance formula. So this makes this an inverse question. All right, so the distance is 240 kilometers and the speed we're told is 60 kilometers per hour and we have to calculate time okay so again uh, remember the inverse rules the 60 kilometers per hour is multiplied so if we want to cancel it how do you what is the inverse operation of multiplication division so if you want to cancel this side you can divide on the other side okay so to cancel the 60 kilometers per hour we divide uh, on the other side so if we take 240 excuse me if you take 240 and divide by 60 we get four hours okay so time will be four hours. Okay, here's another inverse question. And the area of a rectangle is 200 centimeters squared. The length is 40 centimeters and you have to calculate the width. Again, this is an inverse question because they give you the area formula. But they're not asking you to calculate the area. They've actually given you the area. The area is 200 centimeters squared. And they've also given you the length. The length is 40 centimeters. And you have to calculate the width. Okay. And again, uh, we know that the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So if we want to cancel this uh, so that we can get the width, what is the inverse of multiplication? Division. So we divide by 40 on the other side to get our width. And 200 divided by 40. Okay, so we take 200 and we divide by 40. So our width is 5. All right, let's move on to the next example with the volume. A volume of a cylinder is 500 centimeters squared. The height is 5 centimeters. You are expected to calculate the, the radius. Okay, so let's plug into the formula. Inverse question again because they don't want the volume. They've given you the volume. They want the radius. So let's plug into the formula. The volume is 500 centimeters cubed. We know that the value of pi is 3,142. That will always be given in the exam. Multiplied by the radius squared. Multiplied by the height. And the height is 5. So we multiply by 5. All right. So again, we need to apply inverses to eventually get to our radius. All right. We've got 500. And the pi is multiplied and we know the inverse of multiplication is division so we can cancel out that part by dividing on the other side okay and even this 5 is being multiplied so we can cancel it out by dividing it on the other side so we are left only with the radius squared so if you go to your calculator um, if you take 500 divided by 3, 1, 4, 2, 
and then divide it again by 5 it will give you uh, a radius squared of 30 if you round it off to two decimal places it will be 31,83 okay so our radius squared is 31,83 and of course remember we are not looking for the radius squared we don't want this square here and what is the inverse of a square to cancel out the square we square root the other side because the inverse of a square is a square root okay so if we take the square root of 31 comma a3 we get an answer of 5 comma 64 so our radius is 5 comma 64 centimeters